Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Welcome back to Griffin Field at Kalispell, Montana, home of the Kalispell Lakers. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the third game on the day between the Lethbridge Elks and the Billings Royals, just about set to go. Apologize for the late start getting going here. And we might be transitioning right into the National Anthem, so we'll hold for just a moment here. The winners on the day are the Great Falls Chargers and the Billings Scarlets. The Chargers taking down the number one seeded Bozeman Bucks in game one, 6-5, and the Scarlets dismantling the Mavs 10-2 in game two. So it'll be the Scarlets and the Chargers at 4 p.m. tomorrow. And in the consolation side of the bracket, it's the Bucks and the Mavs at 1 o'clock. So we're going to have the National Anthem. We'll step aside for two minutes while we have the anthem. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 10 tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana Alberta State Tournaments. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. 
Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we move to the third game of the day with the Missoula, I mean the 2018 Double A Montana Alberta State Tournament. This one, the third game, is between the Lethbridge Elks and the Billings Royals. The Elks coming in in the sixth seed and the Royals in the number three seed. Looking at the Elks first, starting off, their center fielder, number 11, Wyatt Tamalti. Batting second will be Raleigh Furby, number three. He is the second baseman. The first baseman will bat third. He's number eight, Kyle Bloor. Number 17, Ty Penner, will hang out in right field, batting fourth. Batting fifth is number seven, Torin Vasilnek. He is the third baseman. The designated hitter will bat sixth. That's number 12, Zachary Gorick. Liam Leach, the left fielder, is number four, batting seventh. Batting eighth is Skyler Braun, number 18. He's the catcher, and rounding it out is number five, the shortstop, Lucas Anchorman. Now looking at, and on the mound, I should say, is Levi Abbott. Now for the Billings Royals, number one, Brooks Zimmer, the center fielder. Number 19 will bat first. I said number one, meaning number one batter. I apologize. Batting second will be number four, the second baseman, Jaden K. Jarrett Linewand, number 11, the right fielder, will bat third. Batting fourth is number 20, Dawson Smith. He'll hold down first base. The designated hitter for the Royals will bat fifth. That's number 17, Sam Evenson. Number 12, Nicholas Nordstog is the catcher. He's batting sixth. Batting seventh is number 13, Connor Polkowski. He is the third baseman. The left fielder will bat eighth. That's number six, Connor Hunter. And Carson Klumpian, number 24, the shortstop, will round things out for the Billings Royals. On the bump for the Royals will be Cade Torgerson, number two. It's Torgerson warming up. Game one went to the Bozeman Bucks, or I mean to the Great Falls Chargers over the Bozeman Bucks, six to five. Game two was the Billings Scarlets taking down the Missoula Mavericks, ten to two. So Chargers and Scarlets move on. They'll play at 4 p.m. The Bucks and the Mavs will play in the loser outside at 1 p.m. tomorrow. So now we just wait to see how this one works out. The final game of the day will be at 7 p.m., and that will be the host team, Kalispell Lakers, taking on the Helena Senators. So we get ready to go, and Wyatt Tamalti is on his way to the plate. So Tamalti... Multi to settle in. Want to welcome in all the fans that are tuned in watching the game. We appreciate you tuning in, cheering on the boys, even though you couldn't make the trip. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch will be at 4 p.m. exactly. And the second pitch will slide over the plate to get a strike two. So 0-2 on the count to the center fielder. Targeson with the pitch and we'll have uh, ball one. Raleigh Furby in the on deck circle for Lethbridge. And we'll have an outside pitch to even us out at two. Tournament will continue tomorrow. First game at 10 a.m. First two games will be the loser outside of the bracket as we go to a full count at 3-2 for the center fielder. This should be a pretty good game, folks. Both these teams match up pretty well, both at the plate and on the mound. 10 a.m. will be game six. And it will have the loser of this game versus the win loser of the Elks game. And Torgerson will strike out the batter to start the game. <clears throat> so now we move to Raleigh Furby, number three, the second baseman. Here's the pitch. He'll let it go by for 
Ball one. And we'll have ball two. So 2 0 on the count to start things off. Three man crew as this one will slide over the plate to get a strike one. Three man crew today. Game three is Craig S. As we even the count out at two, and Torgerson slides back in to the count here. This one's pinged over to the shortstop. The throw to first is there just ahead of the runner, and that's out number two. So a ground out for out number two takes us to number eight, Kyle Blower. So Blower will settle in and Torgerson. This will be fouled off for strike one. Here's the pitch. This one's cranked off foul to get a strike two. So 0 2 on the count. So, as I mentioned, a three man crew. We've got a plate umpire and an umpire down first and third base. So, I'll get you the names on those in just a moment. Here's the pitch on the 0 2 count, and we'll have ball one. And we'll even the count out at two. So 2-2 two, two on the count to the first baseman. And this one will be hit out into right field in the glove, and that's the side. So 1-2-3 for the Elks. We go to the bottom of the first where it's the Royals' turn right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copies to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we move to the bottom of the first inning where the Billings Royals will have their first opportunity at the plate. And on the mound is Levi Abbott. So it'll be Brooks Zimmer, Jaden Kay, and... Jarrett Linewan for the Royals. Royals came in in the number three seed of the tournament. They sat at number two for most of the season, both them and Bozeman back and forth of the one two seed. And the Kalispell Lakers snuck into that number three spot after the Royals split their final series against the Helena Senators. So now. We move to the leadoff batter, number 19, Brooks Zimmer, the center fielder. 
So Zimmer to settle in. And the first pitch is going to be hit out to the second baseman. He'll pick it up in the dirt. The throw to first is ahead of the batter, and that's out number one. So we move to the second baseman, number four, Jaden K. So K to settle in after the ground out. And we'll have a strike thrown. Pitch number two to the second baseman will be strike two. So quickly out to an 0-2 count. Levi Abbott on the mound. Here's the pitch, and we'll have ball one. So that will be the first ball thrown by Abbott in the first two batters. And the pitch will have ball two. So our plate umpire is Craig S. I'll search for the last names here. This one's going to be out to the shortstop. He'll get it on the bounce. The throw to first, and that's out number two. Two up, two down here in the opening frame for the Royals. Now we come to Jarrett Linewand, the right fielder. Abbott with the first pitch to Linewand. And that one will go by for ball one. Oh, they're going to say that's a strike. Okay. So 0 1 on the count. Here's the pitch. And now we'll have a ball. So even count at one. Dawson Smith in the on-deck circle for the Scarlets. As we go to ball two, 2-1 two, on the count. Line one, the right fielder. And line one's going to have this one high over second base. Shortstop comes in, puts it in the glove, and that is the side. So three up, three down for the Royals. We go to the top of the second, scoreless. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you checked out the Garden of Reading video of the week at MPSN406.com? Do you have a sweet video of your sports athlete? Did you experience a sports-altering moment or something at a sporting event that wowed the crowd? Go to our homepage at www.MPSN406.com and click on the Contact Us tab at the bottom of the homepage and email us the video. Yours just might go viral. MPSN.com, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we're in the top of the second inning where it's scoreless between the Elks and the Royals. Elks out of Lethbridge, the Royals from Billings. And leading off, it is their right fielder, number 17, Ty Penner. So the four, five, six batters scheduled on the inning for Lethbridge. The left-handed batter settles in. And he'll swing on the first pitch for strike one. Torin Vasselnak in the on-deck circle. So the 0-1. 
And that one will catch the plate to give us strike two. Swung on, fouled off, and it will keep Penner alive at 0-2. Looking at Lethbridge, they finished out their conference season against the Mavericks. They would go one and two in the three-game series. As we have a low pitch to get us ball one. Lethbridge would win the first game on the 21st, and then the doubleheader on the 22nd. The Mavs would take both those games. Here's the one-two. This one's hit hard. Second baseman will get it on the bounce. The throw to first, and that is out number one. Now we move to the third baseman, number seven, Torin Vasilenic. Third baseman, Torin Vasilenic. Vasilenic, sorry. And the first pitch will slide over the plate to Vasilenic. Here's the 0-1, and we'll have an even count at one off the wild pitch. Zachary Gorick goes to the on-deck circle for the Elks. And we'll have ball two. Pitching has been pretty well all day long. Clouds starting to move in and get a little humid, but the pitching today has been pretty well. This one's fouled off to even us out at two. Matt Houlihan just throwing an epic game against the number one Bozeman Bucks for Great Falls this morning. Here's the pitch. This one's fouled off, and we stay at 2-2. Bass Lennox settles in, and he'll foul it off. Keeps himself alive at 2-2. One out, nobody on. Top of the second inning, scoreless. This one's fouled off again. And Vaslenik will keep himself alive. Both sides searching for their first hit of the game. Here's the 2-2. Two -two by Torgerson and we'll have a full count <clears throat> Zachary Gorick in the on deck here's the 3-2 and the batter will be walked that'll be the first runner for either side <clears throat> and the first walk of the game So the designated hitter, number 12, Zach Gorick, Gorick, at the plate now. Here's the pitch. And we'll have strike one. It's Targuson coming out throwing a good game. He has walked a batter, but he struck out the very first batter of the game. Here's the 0-1, and we'll have ball one. Liam Leach in the Leach in the on deck circle. Here's the 1-1 pitch. 
This one's going to be bounced out. The third baseman will pick it up. The throw of the out at second. They'll get the leadoff runner on the fielder's choice. So now we go to number four, the left fielder. Liam Leach. So Leach to settle in. And the first pitch. He'll bunt it down the third base line. Can't get any better than that. The throw to first. And he's safe. Great job. By Leach. And we have our first hit of the game in favor of the Elks. So with two outs, we go to Skylar Braun, the catcher, number 18. Things have kind of, there is a little bit of a cloud coming in. Things have kind of settled. We had a nice breeze through the morning. Here's the pitch, and this one will be bounced down. The third baseman will pick it up, throw to first. Is there in time, and that's the side. So the Elks will get a hit. They'll leave two on. And we go to the bottom of the second, scoreless. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Welcome back to Griffin Field in a cloudy Kalispell, Montana. Bottom of the second inning, Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the middle of the order for the Billings Royals. Dawson Smith, Sam Evenson, and Nicholas Nordstag do up with Dawson Smith, the first baseman, number 20, to lead off. And Levi Abbott warming up. For Lethbridge. So Abbott on the bump. And Dawson Smith, the first baseman, to lead off. Here's the first pitch. And that one will slide over the plate for strike one. Both pitchers have been laying down. Here's the pitch. This one's batted over the pitcher's head. The shortstop with the throw to first, and that's out number one. So now we go to the designated hitter, number 17, Sam Evenson. Batter is the DH, Sam Evenson. So Evenson comes to the plate, left-handed batter. Settling in here. And catcher <coughs> falling out of the stirrups. He'll settle back in now. And 
Evenson will wait for his first pitch. This one will be bounced out. The third baseman will pick it up on the hop. The throw to first is rocketed over ahead of the batter. And that is out number two. So both teams playing some great infield defense. As we go to number 12, Nicholas Nordstog, the catcher. Air is just kind of sitting as the clouds move in. Hopefully the rain will hold off. We're supposed to have some thunderstorms. The first pitch to Nordstog will be a ball. That's the first ball pitch on the first pitch that Abbott has thrown. This one will be hit to the shortstop. The slide for the catch, the throw to first, and there's the foot on the bag, and it's 1-2-3 for Billings. We go to... The top of the third, scoreless. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third Garden of Reading has a large stock of books, gifts, music, toys, and more. Stop into Sacred Grounds for their full-service coffee bar featuring Missoula's best gourmet coffee. While you're there, pick up a pound of Garden of Reading's award-winning fudge and get a half pound for free. Garden of Reading is Missoula's home for the best dietary supplement, Define 8. Garden of Reading is located at 2621 Brook Street. Garden of Reading is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton for MPSN as we head to the top of the third inning. Scoreless between the Billings Royals and the Lethbridge Elks. Bree starting to pick up a little bit more now as they are cleaning the field up. They do that every few innings. We've got this nifty little brush tool that they've been using. Throw to second to indicate the start of the inning. It's the bottom of the order for the Elks. And Lucas Anchorman, he is the shortstop, number five. So Anchorman settles in. The only hit coming from the Elks, and that was in the last inning. And it was a smart little bunt laid down the third base line to kiss the line all the way down. Kate Torgerson for the first pitch on the inning. And it'll be swung on for strike one. So the nine-hole batter at the plate now. He'll swing on the second pitch, and it will be fouled off for strike two. Both these pitchers have just stood really tall here to get things going. And the pitch. This one's fouled off. Keeps the batter alive at 0-2. Wyatt Tumulty in the on-deck circle. So we are swinging through the order very quickly. The pitch. And that one will catch the plate. And Torgerson will start the inning out with a strikeout as he did the top of the game. We swing to the top of the order for Lethbridge to number 11, Wyatt Tumulty, the center fielder. PA guy having a few issues with names. I was straightened out last weekend with Lethbridge, played the Mavericks, had a parent come up. First pitch will be a strike to Tumulty. Had some of the Lethbridge, one of the Lethbridge parents come up and straighten me out on names and give me a little history as we'll have that one slide over the plate for strike two. I believe five players on the Elks were part of the Canadian representatives for the Little League World Series, and there's a strikeout for out number two. Strikeout number two for the second out. Coming to plate, 
But I believe that's what I was told. I don't have my paper that I had written that down on. Or maybe there's eight players and five of them are seniors. That might be more like what we're talking about here for these Elks. But uh, experience play for the Elks. This one's going to be pinged back. And Riley Furby, the second baseman, will have strike one. That puts Kyle Blower in the on-deck circle. Here is the 0-1. And that one's going to be across the chin for ball one. Evens the count out. Torgerson with the stretch. And there's strike two. This game is going to come down to pitchers, I believe. These two pitchers have just played very well. Mavericks have seen both these guys, so I've seen them pitch. And that one's going to get by the pitcher. It's going to hop over second base, roll into center field. And the Elks will have their second runner on, the second hit of the game. And that'll take us to the first baseman number eight, Kyle Bloor. Floor settles in. Torgerson checks the runner at first, and the pitch. This one's fouled off for strike one. One stat that I need to get working on where I can record it is first pitch strikes. Both these pitchers doing a good job of getting their batters to swing. Throw to first. Runner will stand up. Furby to get back. Top of three in a seven-inning game scoreless here's the pitch this one is going to be into left field it's got some leg but it's going to bounce off the wall the Elks will bring their runner around from first third he's on his way home and the Lethbridge Elks will earn the first run of the game off the double by Bloor And that takes us to Ty Penner with two outs. The Elks strike blood first. To make it one nothing. Here's the pitch. And that one's going to be a ball. Ty Penner grounded out his first at bat. Runner at second with two outs. Torgerson now gets the pitch. Here's the 1 0. And we'll have ball two. So Craig S. is our umpire. Ferguson not liking the first one, but he nods at the second. And the pitch. That one takes us to a 3-0 count. Ferguson does have a walk under his belt. Penner settles in. And the 3-0. He'll swing on this one. It's going to be high over shortstop. Backing out to get the catch is Klumpian, and that is the side. So the Elks will get one. They'll leave one. And we go to the bottom of the third, one nothing Lethbridge. You're listening to American Legion Baseball on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and the Cross Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in your
Some changes in life are too painful to go through alone, and Cunningham Law can help in making difficult decisions from divorce to child custody. Kyle Cunningham focuses solely on family law. Cunningham Law will help you land on your feet when big changes come to your family and life. Visit www.familylawmontana.com or give Kyle a call at 406-203-4678 today. Cunningham Law Services. You don't have to go through this alone. Cunningham Law is a proud sponsor of the Northwest Regional Tournament. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Griffin Field in Kalispell, Montana for the 2018 Montana Alberta AA State Tournament. Lethbridge Elks and the Billings Royals up right now, and it's the Royals' turn at the bottom of the third as we have the bottom of the order for Billings. Number 13, Connor Polkowski, the third baseman. So seven, eight, nine batters scheduled on the inning. Levi Abbott on the bump, yet to give up a hit. Here is the pitch, and that one will slide over the plate for strike one. So Connor Hunter in the on-deck circle. This one's fouled off to get a strike two. The 0-2. High for ball one. Connor Polkowski. We'll see him on the football field. He'll hit this one. It's going to roll out to the shortstop. Picked up in the dirt. The throw to first, and that's out number one. So now we go to Connor Hunter, number six, the left fielder. Mostly senior, billing senior boys on the Royals. There's a few sky view as we come to Connor Hunter. And the first pitch to Connor Hunter will be a strike. The pitch swung on. This one's going to roll forward. They're going to say foul as it did come backwards on the backspin. And we're at 0-2. Levi Abbott has just been pitching a great game. In the seven batters he's faced coming up to Hunter. Six of them have been ground outs. One was a pop out. Here's the Abbott pitch. This one's going to roll down the third baseline and at the last second it's called foul. So one out, nobody on. Bottom of the third. Lethbridge Elks lead the Billings Royals 1-0. We know that the Great Falls Chargers, who upset the Bozeman Bucks this morning, moved on, and the Billings Scarlets beat the Missoula Mavericks in the last game as we have ball one. So the Chargers and the Scarlets moving on in the winner's side. It'll be the Bozeman Bucks and the Missoula Mavericks tomorrow in the second game. And there is a strikeout for out number two. The Royals yet to put a runner on at first. And that's the first strikeout of the game for Abbott. And the pitch by Abbott will be over the plate for strike one. Carson Klumpian, the shortstop, number 24, at the plate. Klumpian settles in for the 0-1. And Klumpian will catch the ball and toss it to the catcher to throw it back. And will even the count at one. Brooks Zimmer in the on-deck circle for Billings now with two outs and nobody on. 
Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And it's going to be golfed into right field. Right fielder will come up on it. It's in the glove, and that's the side. One, two, three, go the Royals. And we head to the top of the fourth with Lethbridge holding on to a 1-0 lead. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the top of the fourth inning with the Lethbridge Elks leading the Billings Royals and the Clumpian, I mean the Torgerson pitch will be a ball to Torin Vasselnack. And we'll have ball two. So Torgerson, four innings pitched, three innings pitch, I should say, and 54 pitches. This one's going to be down the third base line. Third baseman will pick it up. The throw to first is hucked over there, and we've got out number one. Now we go to Zachary Gorick, the designated hitter, number 12. And with the clouds, it's cooled off a little bit. It got humid real hot for a moment, and then the clouds moved in, and now, the, now there's a little bit of breeze. Hopefully it'll hold off. Here's the Cade Torgerson pitch, and it'll slide over the plate for strike one. The 0-1. And we'll be even at one. Liam Leach in the on-deck circle. For Lethbridge. Here's the 1-1, one, one, and we'll have ball two. And the next game is at seven. And that's going to be the Leth... Uh, the Post team Kalispell Lakers as this one's foul backwards to get us even at two. Here's the 2 2. And it's going to be hit out. Second baseman will pick it up in the dirt. The throw to first is on target. The tag on the base, and that's out number two. Now we go to the left fielder, number four, Liam Lech. So Leach settles in. And the pitch. And it's going to be low for a ball. On a smartly placed bunt, Leach would be the first hit of the game. Here's the pitch, and this one is going to be fouled off to even us out at one. Two outs, nobody on. Top of four. Lakers, or Elks lead the Royals. One nothing. Here's the pitch. 
That one's going to have contact, but it will be foul backwards, and we get strike two. Torgerson does have three Ks under his belt on the game. And with a 1-2 count, looking to see if he can put another one under that notch. And we'll go even at two. Skyler Braun in the on-deck circle. The pitch. This one's going to be hit, picked up by the second baseman, secured, thrown to first, and ahead of the batter. One, two, three for the Elks as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Lethbridge leading Billings, one nothing. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you feel stuck to your computer when cheering on your prep sports hero when you can't make it to the game? Well, now you don't have to. The Missoula Prep Sports Network has an app for all of Missoula's high school sports fans. How fantastic is that? Just search Missoula Prep Sports Network in either the iTunes or Google Play App Store and take the game on the go. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the future. Missoula Prep Sports Network knows that life is busy and you don't have time to sit by your computer. Download the app and take the game on the go. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to the 2018 Montana Alberta Class AA State Legion Tournament. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are at home at Griffin Field in Kalispell, Montana. Game three on the day between the Lethbridge Elks and the Billings Royals. And right now, Lethbridge with a 1 0 advantage over the Royals. We're going to go to the top of the order for the first time on the game for the Royals as they've been three up, three down for the most part on the day. Brooks Zimmer, number 19, the center fielder, will lead off. And on the mound, throwing the game is Levi Abbott. He's got a fairly decent game going. He hasn't allowed a hit or a run. And has struck out one batter in the three innings. He's been on the hill. The pitch. And that'll be a ball. Levi Abbott. Pitching well. And we'll have strike one to even us out. Here's the 1-1 one, one to Zimmer. This one's fouled into the batting cages down the first baseline. For strike two. So one, two on the count to the center fielder. Zimmer grounded out his first at bat. And the pitch. That one's going to give us even at two. Jaden K in the on deck circle. As this one swung on for a strikeout to lead the inning off. That's the second of the game for Abbott. So now we go to Jaden K, the second baseman, number four. Bottom of four, one out, nobody on. Lethbridge with a 1-0 lead over the Billings Royals, and this one will slide over the plate for strike one. Levi Abbott has just been very impressive. He has not allowed a hit or a run, has not walked a batter, as this one's foul back for strike two. He has one, two strikeouts under his belt, as the second one just came in the last half inning. Or last batter, I should say. 
Here's the 0-2. And that one's going to be a pass ball for out number two. So we go to Jarrett Linewand, number 11, the right fielder. Cloud starting to get ugly over to the west. Here's the pitch. And that's going to slide over the plate for strike one. So Jarrett Linewan with a pop out to finish out the first inning. Here's the 0-1. And that's fouled off to get a strike two. So Levi Abbott owning the count at 0-2. Here's the stretch. And we'll have ball one. Nice job by Line One to be patient and let that ball slide by. The pitch. And we'll have ball two off the high pitch. Abbott now with the right-handed pitch. And we'll have a full count at 3-2. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the 3-2. And the batter will be struck out, swinging to end the side. So we go to the top of the fifth inning. Lethbridge leading 1-0. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience, whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Griffin Field in Kalispell, Montana. Top of the fifth inning where the Lethbridge Elks lead the Billings Royals 1-0. And leading off on the inning for the Elks will be number 18, Skylar Braun. So the bottom of the order in the 8-9 batter scheduled for the Elks. Cade Torgerson with the pitch. And that one will give us a ball. Here's the pitch. Fouled off, and we'll have an even count. So that puts Lucas Anchorman in the on-deck circle. For the Elks. Here's the 1-1. This one will be bounced out. Shortstop will get it in the dirt. He'll secure it. The throw to first is ahead of the runner. And that's out number one. Lethbridge has just been playing... A great infield defense. There hasn't been a lot hit out for the, I mean, the Royals playing good infield defense. There hasn't been a lot hit out past that inside wall. So with one out, we come to the bottom of the order, number five, Lucas Anchorman, and the first pitch that the shortstop will have 
is a strike. 0-1 on the count. The pitch. And we'll have an even count now. Torgerson with the ball pitch to make it even at one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And we'll have ball two. That puts Wyatt Tamalti in the on-deck circle for the third time today. Here's the 2-1, and this one's down the first baseline. It does have fair play, but it will land foul to get us even at two on the count. So Anchorman struck out his last at-bat. Settles in. And the 2-2 pitch will go full on the ball. Ferguson's only walked one batter today. Has struck out three. <clears throat> one run off of three hits. And he'll walk this one. So with one out, the Elks will have a runner at first. That swings us to the top of the order to the center fielder, number 11, Wyatt Tamalti. This game is cruising right along. First pitch was at 4 o'clock. We're in the, the bunt laid down. Nice little bunt down the line. The throw to first is there, and that will be out number two. But the sack bunt does its job as the runner will advance to second. And with two outs, we go to the second baseman, number three, Raleigh Furby. So Furby to settle in. Torgerson waits for the pitch. And now the stretch. This one's foul down the first baseline for strike one. That one hit the bat nicely. Hit that sweet spot on the ding. Next game will be at 7 o'clock. That'll be the Kalispell Lakers and the Helena Senators. Here's the 0-1. And we'll have ball one. So even count at one now for the second baseman in Furby. Furby is one for two, singled with a run his last at bat, had a ground out his first. The Torgerson pitch. And we'll have strike two. Kyle Blower in the on-deck circle. Trying to see what the weather is really doing here as we do have some clouds and a little bit of rain to the northwest. Here's the one-two pitch. And the wild pitch will allow the runner advance to third. And will be even at two. So Anchorman with the third stretch at... Anchorman with the threat at third as I spit it out correctly. We do have some scouts in the building as the University of Mary is here checking out the players. Just talking to them between games and they're here to see everybody. Here's the pitch. This one's bounced out. Can't get a hold on it is Torgerson. The shortstop can't get it and the run will score off the air. And the Elks will take a 2-0 lead. And the first error of the game will be scored. Nope, they're going to say that's a hit. So it came off the pitcher. And 
And that brings home Anchorman. So Kyle Blower will come to the box with two outs and a runner at first. And this one's rocketed down the line. Is it going to be fair? It is! Home run for the Elks to clear the bases. And the Elks take a 4-0 lead off of the smack over the fence. And now we go to Ty Penner. Here at Griffin Field, it is 3.30 down the first and third base lines. 3.60 to the crease in either right or left field. To the seam, I should say. And that would be the fourth home run of the day. The Great Fall, or the Bozeman Bucks with a run in the home run in the first game. And then in the next half inning, Great Falls Chargers matched with a home run. We saw the Scarlets put one over the fence against the Mavericks. This one, line drive right into the glove of the first baseman. And that's the side. But not before Lethbridge is able to earn three runs to take a 4 nothing lead. We go to the bottom of the fifth with the Royals searching for their first hit of the game. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you checked out the Garden of Reading video of the week at mpsn406.com? Do you have a sweet video of your sports athlete? Did you experience a sports-altering moment or something at a sporting event that wowed the crowd? Go to our homepage at www.mpsn406.com and click on the Contact Us tab at the bottom of the homepage and email us the video. Yours just might go viral. npsn.com, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome to the bottom of the fifth inning. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as the Lethbridge Elks lead the Billings Royals 4-0. And leading off for the Royals here in the bottom of the fifth is their first baseman, number 20, Dawson Smith. Levi Abbott on the bump for Lethbridge, and he has been pitching just a remarkable game. Here's the first pitch to Smith, and it'll be high for a ball. Royals fans getting energized over on the far sideline, down the third baseline. That's where the Royals fans are sitting. Trying to get their boys fired up and into this game, as we'll have ball two by Abbott. No movement in the bullpen, though, for the Royals, so they're going to let Torgerson battle this one out. Here's Abbott's 2-0 pitch. This one's out to the shortstop. He'll pick it up in the dirt. The throw to first is there and just ahead of Smith for out number one. Smith grounds out to Anchorman. That takes us to the designated hitter, number 17, Sam Evenson. Next up, the eight, Sam Evenson. So Lethbridge looking to see if they can upset the Billings Royals. Here's the pitch. And it'll slide over the plate for strike one. Sam Evenson grounded out his first at bat for the second out of the second inning. He's going to hit this one down the first baseline, and the ball will, they say, foul. And that'll be strike two. Looked like they were going to let that one roll and play fair, but at the last second... 
It's called back foul. So 0-2 on the count. <laughs> Billings Royals looking for their first hit of the game. Yet to put a runner on as this one will give us ball one. So here in the bottom of the fifth inning, we're one hour and two minutes into the game. This game is floating right along. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and that'll be strikeout for out number two. And that'll be the fourth K of the game for Abbott. Four innings pitched. Well, four and two-thirds and four strikeouts, no hits, no walks, and no runs. First pitch on its way and over the plate to Nicholas Nordstog, the catcher, and we'll have strike one. Abbott steps off the bump and climbs back up now. And the pitch will be a ball. Lethbridge fans not happy. Here's the pitch. And check swing. They look down the line and they're going to say strike two. First base umpire Mike K with the call. So one two count with two outs and nobody on. And the pitch. This one will be fouled off. Keeps the batter alive at 1 2. Nordstock with a ground out to end the second inning, his first at bat. And we'll get our phone book tear to end the fifth inning. We go to the sixth inning with the Elks leading the Royals 4 0. You're listening to American Legion Baseball on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we move to the top of the sixth inning where the Lethbridge Elks are on top of the Billings Royals 4-0. The Elks, the number six seed. The Royals, the number three seed. And to lead off for the Elks will be Torin Veslanik. So the five, six, seven batters scheduled here for Lethbridge. Here's the Torgerson pitch, and it'll be smacked in the center field. Bounces in front of the center fielder, and he's going to go ahead and make his way to second. The throw is made, the tag, and they'll punch him out. Taking the risk over to make the way to second, and a good throw puts him out. And now we go to Zachary Gorick, the designated hitter, and the first pitch will be a ball. Here's the Torgerson pitch. That one's fouled off to even us out at one. Sounds like that one came down on top of the 
press box to the right of me. Starting to cool off here. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And we'll have strike two. So a 1-2 on the count with one out. And nobody on. Lethbridge with five hits. That scored them four runs. This one's off the middle of the bat. The second baseman will put it in his glove, and that's out number two. Now we go to the left fielder, number four, Liam Letch. Here's the pitch. Swung on for strike one. Skyler Braun goes to the on-deck circle for the Elks. Here's the 0-1, and that will get us even at one. And there's Thunder. Here's the 1-1. This one's off the middle of the bat foul to get a strike two. I know we had a rain delay in Hamilton as I received word that they were watching our game in Hamilton during the rain delay. Had the sound going on the loudspeaker. And we'll go even at two on that pitch. One for two for... Leach, as he had a single off a bunt in the first, or the second inning. And we'll have a full count now at 3-2. Cade Torgerson, five and two-thirds innings pitch, three strikeouts, two walks, four runs off of five hits. Here's the 3-2. And he'll strike out the batter to finish out the side. So the Royals will look to see if they can earn some runs going into the bottom of the six. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and the Cross Wolf is Missoula's one-stop Garden of Reading has a large stock of books, gifts, music, toys, and more. Stop in to Sacred Grounds for their full-service coffee bar featuring Missoula's best gourmet coffee. While you're there, pick up a pound of Garden of Reading's award-winning fudge and get a half pound for free. Garden of Reading is Missoula's home for the best dietary supplement, Define 8. Garden of Reading is located at 2621 Brook Street. Garden of Reading is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning where the Lethbridge Elks lead the Billings Royals 4-0. Billings looking for their first hit of the game. They're looking for, as I flip my page over here, they're looking for their first man on. Lethbridge has done a good job of keeping the Royals off the bases. And that's Levi Abbott on the bump. Throw to second indicates the start of the inning. And leading off for the Royals is their third baseman, number 13, Connor Polkowski. The bottom of the order here in the sixth, the 7-8-9 batter scheduled. As Polkowski settles in. Here's the pitch. Bunt laid down, and it'll be foul for strike one. Polkowski trying to sneak one here. Doing anything to 
get the Royals on. Brian Benjamin, the manager for the Royals at the third base coach's box. Trying to get his boys into this game. Here's the 0-1. And this one's going to be smacked right into the glove of the shortstop. Line drive for out number one. And we go to Connor Hunter now with one out and nobody on. That one looked like it had potential, but the shortstop. And now we do have action in the Scarlet bullpen. It looks like number 22 or number 25. Got to have him turn sideways one more time. Here's the pitch. And I believe that's number 25, Tyler Frieders. That's warming up for the Scarlet or for the Royals. Here's the pitch, and we'll have strike one. So an even count at one with one out to Connor Hunter. Hunter struck out his first at bat as that one slides over the plate for strike two. Carson Klumpian in the on-deck circle. Here's the pitch. And this will foul us off. Keeps Hunter alive on the 1-2 count. So there's a possibility for a change on the mound for the Royals to start the seventh. Here's the pitch. And this one will bounce down. Third baseman will pick it up on the hop. The throw to first is there on time for out number two. These Elks are playing some great infield. Not an error scored to either side so far. So Carson Klumpy, here's the pitch. And that one will land on the plate for ball one. Here's the pitch. And we'll have ball two. So 2 0 on the count to the shortstop. Royals searching for that first hit of the game. Here's the pitch. And that will be strike one. The Royals peaked early. They play, came out of the gate and played very well. Rocketed themselves right up to the number one spot and then battled for Bozeman at the one and two spot. This one is going to put a runner on for the Royals. And Klumpian will have the first hit of the game for Billings. And that will swing us to the top of the order to number 19, Brooks Zimmer, the center fielder. So with two outs, the Royals have their first runner on base here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's the pitch. It'll be high for a ball. So Levi Abbott's no hitter is no more. Columbian takes his lead at first. Here's the pitch and this one will be swung on for strike one. So an even count at one for the center fielder. He's 0 for 2, struck out his last at bat, had a grounder his first. Here's the pitch. And we'll have ball two. Jaden K in the on deck circle with two outs for the Royals. Abbott checks the runner at first and the 2 1. No, they're going to throw to first. Clumping, diving back in. And the 2 1. And we'll have.
have ball three. So getting a runner on might have edged off Abbott. He's been throwing. He has only had three balls on the board once before. This one's going to bounce down the line on the third base and over the third baseman. Runner's going to come around and they'll hold him up. A beautiful shot down the line for Zimmer. That one hopped onto third base and right over the third baseman's head. And now the catcher will come in and check with his pitcher. And Benjamin will come down and speak with Jaden K. With two outs, the Royals with a threat at third. Lethbridge leads 4-0, bottom of six. Seven innings scheduled on every tournament game. Here's Abbott with the first pitch to Kay. And he'll let that one go by for a ball. The Royals fans now starting to pick up and trying to get the rally behind their boys. Next game at 7. That's going to be the Kalispell Lakers and the Helena Senators. This one will be swung on. Does have contact. Regardless, it will be strike one. Jarrett Linewan in the on-deck circle. Abbott now with a 1-1. And we'll have ball two. Abbott trying not to serve any up here for Kay. Elks have put one over the fence. We've seen one over the fence in every game today. Two in the first game, one in the second, and now one here in the third game as we'll have ball three. I cannot see the bullpen for the third baseline, so not sure if the Elks are warming anybody up or not. And they say full count at 3-2. Abbott has not walked a player on the game. Up until the sixth inning, he has displayed a phenomenal pitch. Here's the 3-2. Yep. And this one is going to come off the middle of the bat. It's going to hop over the second baseman's head. Runner from third is home. Runner from second is home. And K is at second. The Royals are on the board. They make it four to two over or climbing in and it looks like Abbott could be done. As we have a conference and this is just a check in, no ball handed over. And the Royals swing into it here in the bottom of the sixth making it 4-2. Very quick conference as the pitching coach for Lethbridge heads back to the dugout. So with two outs and a runner at second, number 11, Jarrett Linewan, the right fielder, steps up. Abbott now with the pitch and it'll be swung on for strike one. Line one is 0 for 2, a pop out and a strikeout. Abbott with the 0-1. And time is called. And Helena Radio is here now. They'll set up for the game with Kalispell. 
And we'll be even at one on the pitch. Tensions rising as the Royals have come into the game here. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on for strike two. So the shutout is no more for Levi, Levi Abbott. Team starting to come in here for the four, five, seven o'clock game as this one will even us out at two. Two outs, runner at second. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And it's hit into center field. Center fielder says he's got it. It's in the glove and the side is retired. So the Royals, they earn a run, two runs, leave one on, and we go to the top of the seventh with the Elks holding on 4-2. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and the Cross Wolf is Missoula's one-stop Life are too painful to go through alone, and Cunningham Law can help in making difficult decisions from divorce to child custody. Kyle Cunningham focuses solely on family law. Cunningham Law will help you land on your feet when big changes come to your family and life. Visit www.familylawmontana.com or give Kyle a call at 406-203-4678 today. Cunningham Law Services. You don't have to go through this alone. Cunningham Law is a proud sponsor of the Northwest Regional Tournament. Welcome back to MPSN. We do have a change on the mound for the Billings Royals as Tyler Frieders comes in and will replace Cade Torgerson. So we'll have stats for Cade Torgerson here in just a moment. The leadoff batter, the bottom of the order, Skyler Braun, the catcher, and Lucas Anchorman in the on-deck circle. So Braun comes to the plate. So we're ready to go here now with Frieders on the hill. This one smacked hard. It's got some leg and the center fielder can't put a glove on it. He'll pick it up at the warning track. Runners around second on his way to third. The throw is made but not in time and Braun will have a triple for his first hit of the game. And Lethbridge will not be <laughs> denied. Top of seven. Lethbridge Elks leading four to two, no outs, but they've got a runner at third. Tyler Frieders on the bump for the Royals. Trying to close off the Elks so that the Royals have a chance in the bottom of the seventh. Here's the pitch, and it's hit into center field. This one is over, and well, no, the center fielder does have a play on it. It's in the glove. That's out number one. The runner at third will tag and come home. That clears the bases out, and the Elks extend their lead five to two.
And with one out, we swing to the top of the order to Wyatt Tamalti. Tamalti to settle in. And Frieders with the pitch. And we'll have strike one. So one out. One run has been scored. Here's the pitch. And that'll slide over the plate for strike two. And we'll get ball one now. So looking at Kay Torgerson, six innings pitched, four strikeouts, four, two walks, four runs earned off of five hits, 93 total pitches, 59 of them sliding over the plate, and Tumulty will be struck out for out number two. Now we go to the second baseman at number three, Raleigh Furby with two outs. Here's the pitch, and it'll slide over the plate for strike one. So Tyler Frieders with the pitch, and this one's popped up high. Foul, it's going to be out of play and it'll land on the tent on the third base line, and we'll have strike two. O2 on the count. Time is called by Furby. Two outs. Nobody on. One run has been scored. And we'll have ball one. Kyle Bloor in the on deck circle. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fouled off to keep the batter alive, out of play. We do have somebody warming up in the bullpen for the Royals. It looks like a number three, Tucker Smith. Here's the pitch, and we'll be even at two on the ball. So Furby is two for three with... An RBI and two runs. He had a single his second and third at bats. Here's the 2-2. He'll hit this one. Shortstop should get it on the hop. He'll bobble the throw from second though, and they'll punch out the side. So we go to the bottom of the seventh where it is all or nothing for the Royals down 5-2. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. All or nothing for the Billings Royals. They're down 5-2. They didn't earn their first two runs to the bottom of the sixth. Can they play off that momentum? Leading them off is their number four batter, number 20, Dawson Smith, the first baseman. Levi Abbott remains on the mound. He has 79 total pitches on the game, and the first pitch will be a ball to the first baseman. So Smith, Evenson, and Nordstog on 
the schedule. And we'll have ball two. And Abbott without a walk on the day. Here's the 2-0. And the wild pitch will get away to make it 3-0. Billings fans starting to get on it here now. Bottom of the seventh, we are 92 minutes into the game. This one is flying right by. First pitch was exactly at 4 o'clock. And that one slides over the plate to get Abbott into the count at 3-1. Sam Evenson, the designated hitter, in the on-deck circle. Here's the 3-1 pitch by Abbott. Swung on and fouled back into the batter. Gives us a full count at 3-2. Dawson Smith is 0-2 with a pair of ground outs. Here's the 3-2. And the walk to lead off the inning. And that's the first walk of the game. I'm going to double check my stats here. And that is the first walk of the game for Abbott. That brings us to the designated hitter, Sam Evenson, number 17. And the first pitch is fouled off for, nope, they're going to say ball one. So that puts Nicholas Nordstock in the on-deck circle. And moisture coming down. Here is the 1-0. No outs and a runner at first. And we'll have ball two. And now that's a visit from the Lethbridge coach, pitching coach. And it is just a visit since we are in the middle of a batter. A little hug to his pitcher. As it is 2-0 on the count, it's a very quick visit. A little bit of moisture coming down. Hopefully we can get through the game before it really starts to come down. And the 2-0. The pitch by Abbott. And that one slides over the plate for strike one. Evenson, 0 for 2, struck out his last at-bat, grounded out. The Kalispell Lakers are in the batting cages now down the first baseline, warming up. I believe I saw the Senators come in, and this one will get away. It'll make it 3-1 on the count. Abbott walked the last batter. Here's the 3 1. And this one's hit past the second baseman into right field, and with no outs, the Royals have runners at first and second. And the tying run is at the plate. And this time, Okawa will come out. And converse with his pitcher. The ball handed over, and that's it for Abbott. So we'll step aside. And get you ready for the new pitcher. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third size. 
and see what they have in the store for your Prep Sports Network. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN as the pitcher has been changed out on the mound. Torin Vasnak. Now. And the catcher, Nicholas Nordstog, steps in with no outs and runners at first and second. And the first pitch will be a strike. So looking at Levi Abbott, six innings pitched. Five strikeouts, one walk, two runs earned off of four hits, 90 pitches thrown, 59 of which slid over the plate. Here is the hit. It's going to be over the shortstop. They're going to hold up the runner, and with no outs, the Royals will have a loaded basis. And that will take us to Connor Polkowski. As the wind comes up here at Griffin Field. And the catcher and the third baseman will come up and converse with Vasselnack, Torin Vasselnack now on the bump. And now we settle in for Polkowski. No outs and loaded bases for the Royals. Bottom of seven. Here's the pitch. And it'll be low for a ball. Breeze really picking up here at Griffin Field now. A little bit of moisture spitting in on me. Here's the pitch. Swung on for strike one. So Vasselnack looking to shut things down. Number 20 is the new third baseman, but I don't have a number 20 for Lethbridge in their lineup. Here's the 1-1. Swung on and fouled off for strike two. <clears throat> Getting a good breeze here. Griffin Field. Hopefully the moisture will hold off for the rest of the inning. This one's fouled off. Keeps the batter alive at 1-2. Breeze coming from the west. Here's the 1-2. And the batter will be struck out for out number one. So 
that brings us to number 23, who is in for the Royals. Pretty serious win coming up now. Everybody buttoning down. A little bit of moisture being spit out. And that's Daniel Blanchard. And the first pitch is on its way. And we'll have ball one. Check swing will revolt, result in a foul tip for strike one, so even count at one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on. This was going to roll over second base. The shortstop can't get to it. Runner from third is home. Runner from second is around. The throw home is made, but not in time. And the Royals put two more on. To make it five, four, Lethbridge with one out. Puts runners at first and second with one out. And now we're getting some drops inside the tent here as the wind seriously picks up. Plate is number 24, Carson Klumpian, and the first pitch to Klumpian will be a ball. The 1 0. This one's fouled down the line. Gives a strike one. So even count at one. With one out. Runners at first and second for the Royals. They pulled to within one to make it 5-4 here in the bottom of the seventh. Torin Vasselnak on the bump. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And that one's golfed out. It's going to bounce to the shortstop. He'll make the throw to first. That will be out number two, but it'll put runners at second and third, and that's going to bring the runner home from third off the wild throw. The error will tie the game at five. And that, folks, is the first error of the game. So we're tied at five here in the bottom of the seventh with two outs. And now we swing to the top of the order as number 19 comes to the plate, Brooks Zimmer. They're going to pull the runner. They'll put a runner in at third. So with two outs, Zimmer with a 1-1. One -one. So 1-1 one -one on the count. Two outs. This one is going to be to the shortstop. He gets a glove on it. The throw to first won't be in time. And the Royals win it on the walk-off. 
The Royals get the win over the Lakers. The walk-off win. And the Royals will move on to the winner's side of the bracket. They rally back to get the win over the Lethbridge Elks. The Elks, as we put the stats together here, So the Elks earn four run, five runs off of six hits, one error, and they left three on. The Royals, they get their six runs off of six hits, no errors, and they left one on. We'll have the seven o'clock in the next game at seven o'clock. Thank you for tuning in for the game. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush. MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Well, good